Today we're going to be talking about basic editing in Adobe Audition. So I've got Audition opened up right now, and I am in the Simple Editing Workspace. And you can navigate to that if you go up here to the Window menu and come down here to the Workspaces. You can see that I'm in the Simple Editing Workspace. And this is just a nice simple editing interface for doing some simple edits like we're going to be talking about today. So it hides a bunch of stuff that you may not be using while you're uh, working today. So it's nice and handy to kind of hide all those extraneous things. So we are in the Simple Editing Workspace. I'm going to go up here into the File pane up here. I'm going to double click because I want to bring in the audio clip that we're going to work with today. So I'm just going to double click in this space up here. It opens up the uh, Open File dialog. And I can navigate to where I have that file saved. And it's right here on the desktop. And it is. Uh, we're going to be talking about how to boil water today. I had a coworker, Liz, record some audio for us, and she talked about her tips and tricks for how to boil water. So we're going to mess with that. So I'm going to click on that and hit open. So it opens up here in the uh, Adobe Audition interface. And you can see we went for about a little over three minutes talking about this. So we're going to trim that down. We're also going to look for some spaces where we had some mistakes that we had to start up again, and, and we're going to snip those out. We're also going to talk about how to raise audio levels of the entire clip, as well as going in and doing some target audio level raising and lowering. So right off the bat, when I look at this waveform, I can see it's a little on the low side. Uh, right here, right off the bat, I remember that uh, we had a Liz laughed right at this point. So we're not going to use that as to judge the whole waveform. But I can kind of see that overall, it's hitting at about minus 15 on the VU meters over here on the on this side of the screen. So I'm going to raise the entire overall level of the clip first. And to do that, we have this little dialog box up here. And if I just go ahead and click and hold where it says plus zero, I can actually raise or lower the entire level of the clip. And I'm just going to, I kind of use minus 12 dB as kind of my rough kind of gauge as to how I want the overall level of the clip to be. So I'm going to look and see, see those little grassy peaks there? I'm going to kind of raise them so I have a good number of them over at minus 12, and I'm going to release it right there. And I can click off of it. So now I've got some good grassy peaks coming up here over minus 12. That's great. So overall, we've got a good level for the clip. So now let's talk about how we can go in and start snipping out the stuff that we don't need. Right off the bat, if I move the playhead up here, click and hold on the playhead and drag it all the way to the beginning of the clip, I can hit the space bar, hit the space bar on my keyboard to play. And I can hear this is just the introductory stuff of us getting started. We don't need this in the final recording. And we don't have to read the whole thing. So I'm going to find the place where, where Liz actually, I hit the space bar again right there to stop the playback. I'm going to find the space where we actually do start and want to pick up the recording of Liz. I'm going to hit the space bar again. There is another way to navigate, and that is if I use the J, K, and L keys on my keyboard. I can actually hit the L button, and it plays forward at one times normal speed. If I tap it again, then it plays back at 200% normal speed. And if I want to stop, like I just did, I hit the K key. So the J, K, L, L will move you forward. Tap it again, it'll move you forward 200%. And on the other side of that, if you hit the J key, It'll take you backwards 100% reverse speed. Hit it again, and it'll boost that up to 200% reverse speed. So you can kind of use that. So I'm going to kind of speed through the clip till we find the actual start of this. OK, let's see what I'm saying in here. Choose a pop with a lid. OK, so I just heard Liz start right there. I'm going to hit the J key to kind of go backwards. And I can also use the right and left arrow keys on my keyboard just to kind of find that sweet spot between where she had said OK and then she started speaking. So I'm going to zoom up on this area just to get a better look at it. On my keyboard, if I use the plus keys on my keyboard, I can actually zoom in to that little area right there. And then using my cursor here, I'm going to click and hold on this spot, and then I'm going to drag still holding the mouse button down, I'm going to drag all the way back to the beginning and highlight that area. That's the part we don't need. That's the, the introductory part where we were just getting started. I've got that selected. I'm going to hit the Delete key on my keyboard, 
and voila, it disappears. And now when I hit the, the space bar on my keyboard. Choose a pot with a lid. There's Liz the and she gets started. Will heat inside the pot, making the water boil faster. A large pot will take longer to boil, but the shape does not make a noticeable difference. Add a cold tap water. Hot tap water can pick up blood from... <laughs> no, I think, okay, so there was a mistake there where she kind of uh, strayed a little bit off the script. So we're going to go ahead and find where she picks it up again. We'll try, try that again. Try that line again. Okay. Hot tap water can pick up lead from... So she started right in here saying... Hot tap water can... Right there. So we want to pick it up from right... From that spot right there. So I'm going to find the spot where she said that line. Hot tap water. Right there. So I'm going to select all of that right up until she said, started saying hot tap water again. I've got that little part selected right there. I could preview that and just make sure that's the part I want to snip out while it's selected. If I hit the space bar. Hot tap water can pick up blood from. <laughs> okay. I'm going to we'll try, try that again. Try that line. Hot tap water. And it'll loop that little section right there so we can confirm, yes, this is the part we want to delete. So with it selected, I'm going to hit delete. And you see that it snipped that part out and also rippled everything back forward, took out that space that we deleted. And I can play that through to make sure. Add a cold tap water. Hot tap water can pick up lead from your water pipes and is not recommended for drinking or cooking. Let's try that one more time. Oh, hot tap water. Can well, we did that again, too. So let's go ahead and do the same thing we just did. I'm going to go ahead and kind of highlight the part we want to delete. Just like that. Again, I could hit the space bar to confirm that's the part we want to delete. But I know that's what we want to get rid of. So with it highlighted, I'm going to hit delete and it's gone. And then we can pick it up again. Add a cold tap water. Hot tap water can pick up lead from your water pipes and is not recommended for drinking or cooking. Start with cold tap water instead. Don't fill it up all the way. A full pot can splash you as it boils and you'll need space to add the food if you're cooking. Don't believe the myth. Cold water does not boil faster than hot water. Okay, I know this is riveting stuff, but you're learning how to boil water correctly now. It's a safe option but it will take a bit longer. Let's try that one again. Let's try okay, there's another another place where we decided to redo that line. It's the safe option. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> okay. It's the safe option, but it will take a bit longer. So she picks it up right there with it's the safe option. And I'm just going to confirm where we're going to pick it up. Take what part we're going to take out. It's the safe option. Right there, we want to take that part out. So we're going to come in here right to that point. It's the safe option, but it will take a bit longer. Let's try that one again. Let's okay, just confirming. That is what we want to take out. So I'm going to hit the delete key, and it's out of there. A little faster than hot water. It's the safe option. Now there's a little breath in there. You kind of heard that little breath. Again, you can zoom up and zoom back from your uh, waveform by hitting the plus and minus keys. So if I want to you know, get in there to do some really precise editing, I'm going to hit the plus button a couple of times, get really close to that, and I'm going to highlight that little breath there. And I'm going to delete it so that it plays through nice and clean. Cold water does not boil faster than hot water. It's the safe option. Oh. <laughs> okay. It's the safe so this is kind of the process. You go through, you listen, you highlight the areas you want to snip out, and you delete them. And hot water. It's the safe option, but it will take a bit longer. Add salt for flavor. You can even take out little extra pauses when you don't feel like you need that extra pause in there. So I'm going to highlight that little pause and remove it. Add salt for flavor, which is optional. Salt has almost and I'm hitting the minus the button on my keyboard to zoom back out again now. enough to make it seawater. Add it only to flavor the food, especially pasta, which will absorb the salt along with the water. 
You might notice a bunch of bubbles rise up as soon as you put the salt in. I'm going to do that again. <laughs> you might notice... There's a little spot right there where she picked it up again. So let's take that, highlight that little area, and delete. You might notice a bunch of bubbles rise up as soon as you put the salt in. It's a fun effect, but it doesn't change the temperature. Add salt, add salt when boiling eggs. Let's take that little part out. Bink. Add salt when boiling eggs. If the shell cracks, the salt will help the egg white solidify. Okay, doing that one again. <laughs> if the shell cracks, if the shell... So I'm just confirming that we want to take all of this section out of here. There we go. Highlight it and delete it. If the shell cracks, the salt will help the egg white solidify, plugging the hole. Oh, there's a page turn where she turned to the second page. So let's get rid of that too. Let's highlight that and delete it. Place the pot over high heat. Place the pot on the stove and turn the burner underneath it to high. Cover the pot with a lid to help the water boil a little faster. And that's the end of the fourth one. Okay, there's the end. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight the end right here to get rid of that little extra dialogue right there and delete it. So now I can zoom all the way back up by hitting the minus key on my keyboard. And there's our file. So we've done the edits now. We've done our selective edits by just highlighting those areas and deleting them to shorten it all up. So now let's get in here and do a little bit of uh, surgical volume work here. Because you can kind of see, we do have those nice grassy peaks going above minus 12, but there's some areas that look a little low. And I'm just going to highlight a few of them, like this little area right in here where you can kind of see, according to the waveform, her voice drops down a little bit. Let's zoom in on that a little bit. Place my playhead over that spot. I'm going to hit the plus button a couple of times on my keyboard. So if I want to raise the overall volume of this little section, I'm going to highlight this little bit of it right there. And with it highlighted, I can actually go up to this little volume dialog box and you'll see that I can raise just that little area either up or down. So if you have something like a cough or something like that that you want to take down, you can use this technique too. You can actually lower the volume of something, a cough or a laugh or something like that. And let's see how that sounds now. A full pot can splash you as it boils and you'll need space to add the food if you're cooking. So you can use this method to just kind of surgically go in and raise or lower the volume of certain sections just by highlighting them and then using the dialog box to kind of do a little bit of a little bit of work on those until it all sounds good it's the safe option but it will take a bit longer yeah so this is looking really good i could go through here and do some more work on it again just surgically doing that work but I think I'm going to stop here for now. It looks pretty good overall. There's a lot more work I could do on this. But this just gives you a, a sense of how to do some very basic editing in Adobe Audition and how to do some volume work on this. There is also a way that you could actually fade up and fade down if this was music or something like that. On the clip itself, you see these little buttons up here in the, in the corners on both sides. This actually allows you to do a fade up or a fade out, and you can kind of see how it affects affects your uh, waveform there. We don't need to do that for this clip, but you might have some need for it if you were adding in some music or a sound effect or something like that, you could use this technique. So we've done our editing, we've done our audio work. So now we can just do a save as and save this as something new. I don't want to overwrite the original file because I may want to go back and change my mind and redo some work. So I'm going to change the name from raw now to final and just save it right back to my desktop there and it's going to save and we're done thank you for watching